In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use alt text for your images and emails, both to show what an image is about, but also you can use it so that you have specific words that show up in the preview pane in different email clients. So I'm here inside one of my messages in the message editor. I actually like using, in, this is an Aweber, I like using their WYSIWYG drop-in drop or drag-and-drop editor. Some people still do text or straight HTML, but um, I, quite, I quite like it. So here you can see that I have a header image. This is actually my logo, which is something I set up when I first did my list options and list settings. So you can have a logo that you can always drop in to any email and also put alt text on. And then further down, I've used other images like the image of an e-cover that I was promoting in this particular email. And then I also used images for click here buttons. And I put alt text on all of them so that if someone has an email showing or that's not displaying images, they'll still see some text there, at least in most email clients. So let's look at this one to start with. This is just business content PLR. That's my logo. If you click on it so that it opens up this pane on the right, this um, little menu pane, it'll give you some different options. There's the image URL is just where this is coming from and you can upload your own file or if you've uploaded things in the past you can browse the image gallery and it'll show you everything you've uploaded in the past and you can pick one of those. I already have this one uploaded and in there. And then the image link is where what would happen if someone clicked on this in an email so the default is just what I've set up to be my main website, but I want this particular one to link to the product that I'm promoting. So you change the link there. I have a specific link that I used from AW Pro Tools so that it shows its segments and shows what people are interested in. And then I put this image alt text. This is important because number one, people will see it if they don't have their images displayed. And number two, because it's at the very top of the email, it's what people will see in their preview. And I'll show you that in a second. So it says inside my brand new, what did I write here? My brand new customizable training program on writing highly effective email newsletters just went live. So that's what people would see. They know immediately what the email's about and whether they want to open it. And then you can move down and do the same thing with any other images. If you want to add an image up in this WYSIWYG editor, you just go click on image and drag and drop it in. And you can do the same thing. You can upload a file, use one that's already in your gallery, change the image link, change the text. And you'll see I did that also on these click here buttons. I created an image that's just a square with a nice color and some background text. And then I put the link as the link to the sales page and then some text. Click here to find out more or click here to find out about how to create highly effective newsletters. So again, if they don't see the image, they'll see the text. And that's it for creating alt text and images. Let me show you how that shows up in an actual email preview pane. So I'm going to go to test which you can do in Aweber. I'm going to send a test and now let's go see what it looks like. Okay, so here I am in my Gmail inbox and you can see that this is the email I tested and sent to myself and depending on how big you have your browser set up you'll see more or less of the preview but you'll see the subject line. My subject line is kind of long so you see only a little bit of that text, but this inside my brand new customizable training, etc., that is the alt text that I put on that first image right at the top so that that text would show up first. And you can see that I'm in my promotions tab, but you can see that most people have done that. But let me see if I can find an example where somebody didn't do that. Um, I'm going to just scroll down. I remember seeing one here. Look at this one from US Rowing. Yes, my son rose, so that's why I get this. Order by December 15th, blah, blah, blah. Great, that's the subject line. Then it says, to view an online version of this. So obviously that's the text at the top, and they really could have used that to get people to click and open it up. I mean, obviously the subject line is 
descriptive, but that was kind of a waste of space. So here I'll show you what it looked like. See this little bit of text? To view an online version of this email, click here. That's what shows up in your preview. You don't need to do that. You can use some better text. And I think most promotional people do have that down now. Because either it'll be the first sentence of whatever text is there, but if you have an image, you can use the text on that. So I hope that was helpful and that you'll be able to use some alt text as well and get some images into your ads so that even if people can't see the image, they'll be encouraged to either display the images, which you want them to do, or they'll still know what it's about. Enjoy!